Hey, how's it going? Today I'll be showing you my Prime Primo settings for OBS when streaming to a hitbox. Now these could also be applied to Twitch if you wanted to. Uh, let's start off with the settings going into encoding. We've got a 2500 max bitrate. Now the reason for that is that's really all you need for streaming in 720p. Uh, my internet connection in terms of upload speed is about four to five uh, it sits around four to five so 2500 I can stream and play games perfectly fine without any kind of lag uh, when you're doing competitive games like CSGO or League of Legends you kinda wanna have some playroom with your upload speed and the max bitrate that you set in OBS now the ink codec and the bitrate should be pretty similar uh, to what I've got going on here they're very basic now more on a bit rate later but 2500 for now and of course use CBR make sure you've got all these settings just like mine now the broadcast settings are pretty simple uh, where you're streaming hitbox where you're streaming from whatever server this will be your server that you're going to be streaming to um, that connects to hitbox I picked central because that's where I'm located and your stream key which will be in the settings um, in your either hitbox account or twitch there'll be different now the video is where it gets a little tricky. Um, I've got a monitor that runs at 1920 by 1080p and I like to downscale it right here to 720. Now I do this because bandwidth and because my viewers. Uh, those two reasons are kind of connected. Now my users or my viewers from like Europe or Asia or Australia they can't handle higher like bandwidth bit rate or uh, resolution so 720 is pretty nice if you're just you know making some videos uh, while you're streaming uh, unless you want 1080p go for it it's going to tax your CPU a lot harder um, it's going to tax the, your bandwidth a lot harder so you're going to need to up that bandwidth by a little bit but though I got away with 2500 max bit rate for this but usually I downscale so you want to keep it like this exactly now 30 FPS is typically alright um, that's what I normally stream it at but I've been uh, ever since I switched to hitbox I uh, moved it up to 60 but you should keep it at 30 and see how it goes first and then change it to 60 if you have everything stabilized that's the only way to do it um, let's see audio is pretty simple your whatever your headphones are, your microphone, whatever you're using. Advanced, you should have all these settings. They're pretty simple. Um, they don't really require much of a explanation from this point. Now, I'll show you my settings, or my specs rather, so you can see what my hardware specs are. Now, I'm running at, remember, four to five um, MB for upload so you gotta check your upload speed at speedtest.net to see where you stand so you kinda have a medium here um, this is my system I got an i7 uh, 16 gigs of RAM and uh, 780 but your graphics card really doesn't come into play as much as your CPU does and your RAM if you're streaming games like League of Legends um, something that doesn't really require a lot of CPU power um, that you can kind of lower. Now I play on high graphics when it comes to every game that I stream so 16 gigs of RAM and an i7 is really necessary for me but if you're streaming game, like uh, next-gen games like Witcher 3 or Call of Duty or something you need to have at least 16 gigs of RAM if you're gonna play on a high settings. Other than that 8 will be fine but you might experience some lag but that's that depends on system to system so this should be optimum settings for you guys. If you have any questions on how to do anything else, let me know in the comments below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks.